boys and girls, we are in week four, day three. Just feel the beat this morning, boys and girls. Today, our SEL competency is social awareness. Our SEL standard is 3B. Demonstrates awareness and understanding of others' cultural backgrounds, gender, identity, abilities, and differences. So today, boys and girls, we are focusing on social awareness. Let's read our quote this morning. Strength lies in differences, not in similarities. That is written by Stephen R. Kovac. And boys and girls, this might be, this is a famous quote that he says. He says, strength lies in differences, not in similarities. What does this quote mean to you? Treating others with respect and honoring different cultures, perspectives, and identities shows personal strengths. Today, tell someone who is different than you that you respect and appreciate them. So remember, boys and girls, strength lies in differences, not in similarities. So let's make sure today that we what? Treat others with respect. Ooh, boys and girls, that's so powerful. Honoring different cultures, perspectives, and identities of others to show strength. What emoji are you feeling like today, boys and girls? Are you feeling like all smiles? Or are you feeling kind of sad, down, not so well? Well, boys and girls, take a deep breath. Remember to smell the flower. Breathe in through the nose. And take, blow out through the mouth and blow the pinwheel. Our closing thought for today, remember, building your social awareness allows you to understand other, other another's perspective and cultural identity. But even though we might all be uniquely us, as humans, we have, all have more in common than we think. Make sure as you go through your day, you are respectful of other people's differences. And remember, model tigers are always what? Respectful always respectful. So make sure that you go throughout the day today, boys and girls, making sure that you are respectful to one another and especially to people who are different because everybody is different and unique. So we have to respect each other's differences. This week we've been talking about our current event in Afghanistan, boys and girls. And I really want you to just reflect on what we talked about today at SEL, different cultures, being respectful to others. And I want you to think about the Taliban that has taken over the country in Afghanistan. Do you think that they are being respectful to the people that are already there? If you think so, give me a thumbs up. If you don't think so, give me a thumbs down. And I want you to just discuss why. If you think that they are being respectful, if the Taliban is being respectful based on everything that you have seen and heard this week that we talked about, I want you to talk to someone in your class and just tell them why you think they may be respectful. If you think they are not being respectful to the people and their differences, I want you to start tell why. Everybody is entitled to their own opinion. That's what makes us unique. But I think, this is what I think, based on what I see in the picture, boys and girls, I don't think they're respecting other people. Because if they were respecting them, the people probably would not want to leave. 
So you have to respect their differences. They might be different in their country. The ladies in their country, they have to wear veils over their head. They have to keep their faces covered. That's a part of their culture. And they're not respecting the people that are already there. Because if you respect them, they wouldn't want to leave if they were respected. Because they will feel safe. And they will feel safe enough that they will want to stay. So, boys and girls, I want you to think about that today when people are different. You may not agree with them. But you still should show respect to them. Regardless if you like them or not, you should still show respect to people. Because everybody is different and everybody is unique. Everybody in the world is unique. All right, boys and girls, it's time to get ready for our Model Tiger Pledge as well as review, review our rule rules. Let's remember, Model Tigers remain safe, organized, always respectful, and responsible. And I can't wait to find out who gets to go to the Lit Lounge today. Teachers, don't forget to send your students to the office to get their lanyards. That's the only way that they'll get to enter into the Lit Lounge. Have an awesome day, boys and girls, and stay tuned. Please join me in Recite the Model Tiger Pledge. I am a smart, proud Peyton Forest Tiger. I will come to school ready to learn. I will speak in complete sentences. I will keep my school nice and clean. I will speak and act with kindness. I will show gratitude by saying please and thank you. I will make good decisions. I will remain safe, organized, respectful, and responsible. I am a smart, proud Peyton Forest Tiger. Are you modeling the tiger expectations? Remember to remain safe, organized, always respectful, and responsible. If so, then you can earn tiger tickets. Tiger tickets are worth $2 and you can use them to shop at the school store at the end of the month. How many tiger tickets will you earn this month? Stay.